it's Tessa. I'm here today with my February favorites. I have a few random things. I don't have very much. Um, so, I will save the random things for last. And I will get started with hair. The first thing I have is the L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. I've been using this as a setting spray or a hairspray. I really like it. The smell is a little overpowering, so if you don't like a heavy scented item, this may not be for you, but I really like this. I just kind of spray it in another room and then run back in the bathroom when I'm done to not be like, you know, choked by the smell. Next I have the Secret Clinical Strength Clear Gel Completely Clean Deodorant. You know that I use the Degree Deodorant. I've used the, what is my hair doing? I've had a bad hair day today. I've used the Degree Deodorant for years, but I got a sample of this in my Walmart Beauty Box, and I really like it. Um, I don't know. It doesn't get on your clothes like the Degree does, or the, yeah, like the Degree does, so I think I may be using this one for a while. Next, I have the Maybelline Superstay Makeup. That's what I have on today. Uh, I used this for a long time, and then I kind of put it away, then I got it back out, and I forgot how much I really like it. It's a really nice foundation. And I have the color Classic Ivory. I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Everybody always talks about this. I have it in 10 light. Everybody always talks about this and I was holding out because I really love my Jane Concealer, but guess what? Alta's not going to sell it anymore. Oh, I can't. Do there we go. It has a do foot applicator. Um, when I first bought this, I didn't like it, but it sat for like a week and now it's good. So it's just like mascara. It got better as it sat. Um, then I think I featured this one other time in my favorites. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Brow. This is in chocolate. I have this on today. Everything I'm talking about except for one thing, uh, two things I have on today. It looks like this. I really like it. It's a little dark for me, but I make it work. When I put the cap on, I store it upside down because these liquid things store, stay better without drying out if you store them upside down. So they say. Then an oldie but a goodie. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush Eyeshadow. This should be, or is said to be, a dupe for the MAC Pigment in Tan. It's just a beautiful rosy gold eyeshadow. You can't go wrong with this eyeshadow. It is so pigmented, so pretty. It's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. This I do not have on my eyes today. I have the L'Oreal Hip Studio Secrets Professional Metallic Eyeshadow on my eyes today. This is in the color Electrified 510. And it looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. This is like a purpley silver taupe, and then a regular purple, and it's just a beautiful combination. Gorgeous. Smooth, creamy, love it. I got this blush this month in my um, Ipsy bag, and it's called Models Co. Peach Bellini number two, I have this on today. I really like this blush. I didn't think I would, but it has like a sheen to it. And you know, you can go either way with them. But it's very, very pigmented, which was surprising. I was pleasantly surprised by this blush. I'm not sure where you can buy Model Co., but I really like it. That'll last me a while anyway. Next is the Georgiana 12-Hour Georgiana Made-to-Last Eyeshadow Pencil in um, Continuous Almond. I just use this as a base. It's just a flesh-toned eyeshadow pencil, and it makes a good base. <clears throat> then I repurchased the Prestige My Blackest Lashes recently. Um, I hadn't had this in a really long time. I forgot how much I really like this mascara. It's a great mascara. The only it is very wet, like very, very wet. Look how wet it is. Which it's kind of a pain, but I just brush it off like this. I just turn the wand around and get it all off. 
and then use it, and that works just fine for me. It will dry out eventually, but it's still new. Then I have the Maybelline Baby Lips in Cherry Me. I believe that's what this is called. Yeah. I have it on today. It's just a really pretty, light, very colored. I like it. Then I um, have the Color Club Cloud 9 <clears throat> Holographic Nail Polish. I used to wear this all the time, and then I kind of put it away, and they still sell these, so if you go to Color Club's website, you can buy these. They have a bunch of colors. Really, really pretty. Um, let me see if I can put it on a piece of paper, and you can get like an idea of how it looks. Of course, I don't have it on. Maybe you won't get an idea of how it looks. It doesn't look very holographic on the paper. No, that's not doing it any justice. Oh, well, I tried. Um, <clears throat> next, the Dark Chocolate Cherry Cashew Kind Bars. I buy these by the case from Vitacost. They're so good. It's the only kind bar I like. I don't know if you could tell, but the whole bottom is lined with chocolate. Oh, 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 oh it's good. Then I got these at Walmart two weeks ago, and I bought them again this time. They were so good. They have different flavors. Sea salt, sour cream and onion, and the cheddar cheese. I really like the cheddar cheese. They're gluten-free. Veggie chips, they're in the Pringles type can. They're by Sensible Portions. They're very good. Made of potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, and beets. Really like those. I don't know if they're from the same company as Pringles or not. No, I don't think so. No. And then last but not least at all is um, a seller on Etsy. And the shop is called Never Lose Hope Stand Up. And if I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize if she sees this. Her name is Sule, I think. Um, I ordered a necklace off of her, and it's this gorgeous, druzy type necklace. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. She has these in different colors and earrings, too. I don't know if you can see just how pretty that is, how it catches the light. Let me see if I can block the light so you can really get a good shot of it. It is just gorgeous on. It really does look like a druzy. And it wasn't expensive at all. And she has coupon codes on her store that you can use if you spend so much money. And as a thank you, she also sent me these really pretty earrings. Let me put one in so you can see what they look like. can't wait to wear these. They'll be really pretty for spring and summer. Very, very pretty earrings. We'll focus on that. So cute. So if you get a chance, check out her site. She has other colors, other items on there. She's just so friendly and sweet. Um, the, and a little bit of interaction I had with her was just a genuine person. So go ahead and check her out. Again, this is a Druzy type necklace. Alright, thanks for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.